So the number one thing that's consistent about Hardware Sugar videos is the humorous and honest and high quality content that we turn out. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's our sponsor, CDKeyOffer.com. And for today's video, we're going to be talking about how to get a Windows key from them, answer some of your burning questions, and basically walk you through the process of getting a key. You know, from time to time, we get questions from interested buyers of activated Windows keys. And basically, we'll start with this. Yung CD key, hindi nila binibenta yung installer. Ang binibenta nila is the activation key. So for those who don't know, Windows 10, Windows 11, they are basically free. You can download the installer or the ISO from the Microsoft website and create a bootable drive from that. And then install Windows on your machine from that downloaded file. And that's basically free. Ang caveat lang doon is, yun nga, free version siya. And yung free version, meron siya mga limitations. And yung pinaka-egregious na limitation doon is the dreaded watermark that never goes away. So if you want to get rid of that or for example use the pro versions, you do need an activation key. And that's what you'll be getting from cdkeyoffer.com. So the process is very simple. First, you go to cdkeyoffer.com and then hindi siya masyadong malino from there. But you have to create your account. And that's basically where you can see your purchases including of course yung activation keys. So once your account is created, you'll go back to the homepage where you can see the available keys to be purchased. And actually, aside from Windows OSS, meron pa silang mga games, applications, and other stuff. But for this video, we're going to be focusing on the OS. So basically, parang Shopee lang yan. You add to heart yung napili mong OS. And from there, you can proceed to the payment. Now, once on the payment page, there's a lot of payment options there. And you can just select your preferred payment method. Once payment is done, there is a disclaimer there that the delivery for this is 3 to 5 minutes. But in our experience, you basically get the keys instantly. From there, you can go to your account and then click on View Purchased Orders. From there on the right side, you should see a button for View Keys slash Codes. And once clicked, you should see the most recent purchase that you've made. Click on get the key to get your keys and basically it will show you the Windows activation key that you need. So from here, hindi pa tayo tapos, hindi pa activated yung Windows natin. We have to get that key in our Windows machine. So just copy the key that you got. And from your Windows machine, press start and type activation. You should see an activation settings item there. And it will basically show you the state of your Windows activation. In your case, it's going to be unactivated. There will be an option there to activate Windows Now and you will see a pop-up and that is where you will enter your key that you got from cdkeyoffer.com. Give it a minute or so and just like that, you're going to have an activated version of Windows. Once activated, the watermark should be gone now and to truly test it, you can right-click on your desktop and click on Personalize. And basically, you can now change the themes. In the unactivated Windows versions, you cannot do this. That's one of the weird limitations that Windows has set. And basically, that's it. You now have a legit activated Windows on your machine. But for very important questions, number one, will this carry over to another PC? In our experience, if you have a local account, for example, if you have a Windows 10 or a Windows 11, you know, just the local account, it will be tied to the motherboard. So if you do change motherboards, and reuse your drive, it might prompt you to re-enter the serial key so it can reactivate again. But the easiest way for this is to log in with a Microsoft account. With a Microsoft account, the key will be digitally linked to your account. So basically, if you have a new PC, you can just log in with your same Microsoft account and the activation will be transferred to that PC since it's already linked in your account. That's the easiest way to do it. So number two, ano nga ba yung pinagkaiba ng no activated versus unactivated? As mentioned, those unactivated, there are a couple of personalization options that are disabled, like changing the themes or changing the wallpaper from the settings app. There is a way to change your desktop wallpaper even in the free version of Windows. But basically, that's it. The number one egregious thing talaga is the watermark. And that basically never goes away. Kahit mag altab ka, kahit mag full screen na game ka, kahit mag movies ka. It's basically up to you if you think that shelling out money will be worth getting the entire real estate of your monitor or display. 
But that's basically all the limitations of the free version or the difference between the free version and the activated version. So another very important question is, is this truly legit? Well, from our experience, 100% it is. All of our builds that have requested for a Windows activation, we got the keys from CDK Offer themselves. And so far, no issues talaga. Magkakaroon lang ng slight issue dun sa sinabi ko earlier about changing the motherboards because if you have only a local account and not a Microsoft account, the key will be linked to your hardware. And basically, there are steps that you can use and you can get back the activation. And finally, if you are interested in getting one, there is a sale going on. It's their back to school sale. And that is available for Windows 10, Windows 11. And as mentioned, they also have other applications like Microsoft Office 2019. You can use the ongoing code there or also use our exclusive code HS20 to get a 25% discount. And basically, that's it. If you have other questions, feel free to message us here or on our Facebook for if you want to avail a key or avail yourself a new gaming PC. Thank you and see you on the next video.